Funding for New Mexico in Focus provided by the McCune Charitable Foundation and viewers like you. This week on New Mexico in Focus, groundbreaker Joy Harjo on the significance of being the country's first ever Native American poet laureate. How do you carry the weight of history and have no words or no, no way to address it? Plus, UNM's Teton Saltis tackles advocacy work for his community with the same determination he does athletics. New Mexico in Focus starts now. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm your host, Gene Grant. We here at New Mexico in Focus hope you're all enjoying a holiday weekend with friends and loved ones. And we thank you, as always, for spending a little time with us. We've got lots of great things for you to feast on in this week's show, starting with that story on UNM football player Teton Seltis. Also this week, the amazing story of the brave women on the front lines of social reform during Nicaragua's 1979 Sandinista Revolution. Their story is the subject of a documentary shown earlier this year right here on New Mexico PBS. We sit down with the director for more on this remarkable story. And as the Sandhill Cranes return, we'll also look back at one of our favorite Our Land episodes, exploring one of New Mexico's natural wonders, the Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge. Up first though, we celebrate another New Mexico treasure, poet Joy Harjo. An enrolled member of the Muscogee Creek Nation in Oklahoma, Ms. Harjo went to school at the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe, as well as UNM. She went on to write eight different books of poetry, including her latest, An American Sunrise. And earlier this year, she also made history, becoming the first Native American named the National Poet Laureate. NMIF correspondent Megan Cambrick had the opportunity to sit down with Ms. Harjo in Santa Fe, where she read some of her poems and talked about why she sees the Poet Laureate appointment as a doorway for Native people.